Libra, what is up, my beautiful Libras? What do I want to start with for you? Um, yeah, let's start with Tara Royale. This is your general timeless reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force it to fit, because it is for the collective. And for all personal bookings and more, check out the link down below in my description box, okay, my dear? But let's see what we got going on for you, Libra. Ooh, Libra, <laughs> definitely being told to slow down. Definitely being told to slow down. What's going on here? There's a lot of external focus for you, Libra. Definitely a time to go inward. There's something with the throat. I didn't mean to just flip you off there. <laughs> um, yeah, so okay, so here's an ending of a contract. The Hierophant is relationships, marriage, contracts, the guru, the teacher. There could be something that you need to express or admit to yourself. You might think that this is going to come through a conversation with another, but this very internal feeling tells me that it's something that's stuck in the body and it's literally making my throat tight, which means that there's something that you have to admit or you, you have to discover and express to yourself. Like, actually, the reality of it is I'm not angry at them. I'm mad at myself or blah, 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 right? Yeah, high priestess. It's it's something that's hidden from you. And you have the mystic pair. This is very interesting. The Hierophant and the High Priestess, but one upright, one reverse, the opposite, the duality, the masculine, the feminine of the higher self. You're gonna go through a really big spiritual. I feel somebody else coming in. Not yet. Stay there. Uh spiritual shift. I feel a lot of, yeah, you have a lot. <laughs> this feels like a lot of people, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like there's a lot. Of, I had this with Gemini too, like a lot of different areas of your life being highlighted right now. So let's see what else we got for you. Who is this? It feels loving, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this person's tiptoeing in. They're like, hey, I've done work on myself. I fixed this issue. Would you want to entertain a second chance with me? It feels like that. It, there doesn't feel to be any, ma it feels very loving. There's something very loving about it. It does not have to be romantic. This could be friend, family, it could be work. Um, but with the magician and the queen of pentacles, I think you're a little weak. I think you want the offer. I think you do want it. The queen is holding the pentacle. She's like, well, you know, like, it looks pretty nice. I, I like it. I'm going to hold on to it. But there's this energy of like, do I really want it? Um, I like them. I like them as a magician. I feel that there's some trust issues here. And it could be because of them. It could be because of your own past, something that you need to heal within yourself. But there's something that feels, okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this, they want to repair this. Ten, yeah, they want to, they want to, okay, okay, that's enough for that. They keep stopping me. So we're going to clarify that in a minute. Anything else? Okay, nothing else for you. They said no very quickly. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. I like that. Why does, did I have that for somebody else today? I can't remember. Um, Six of Swords in reverse just tells me that you're probably trying to move forward and it's just not time to. I feel like it also is like dot your I's, cross your T's before you keep it keep it moving, right? Again, if you want a personal booking, Reiki session, you want to become a Reiki practitioner yourself, certifications, classes, bookings, all that could be found through my website in the description box. So go ahead and check it out. And if you want a 10 minute reading for $1.99, I do have a partnership with Keen. You can check out that information down below in the description box as well. And yeah, let's get into it. Ten of Swords, Temperance. This is very, this is all you, Libra. Okay, there's going to be a big emotional relief. Okay, yeah. No, step away. Take a step back as much as you want to talk to you or express to somebody how you feel or what's going on. There's a really big pull to step back. Not only do you have a cyclic energy, but you have two major arcanas. Major arcanas are universal energy or energy that is destined, right? It's not free will. The ace to the 10 are free will energies, but aces, the one, right? So the ace of wands and the tens, 10 of swords, wands, pentacles, cups, all of it, right? They're cyclic. It, it's, indif it's indicative of the beginning and the end of something. And when you have majors on top of it, that ending is destined. It's destined for you to go through this experience of transmuting it because you're going to release that energy. Um, let's see. I want to get a little bit more on this. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, it's time to walk away from it. Whatever it is, walk away from it. Hierophant in reverse. Yep, there's the, okay. Yeah, I can already tell where this is going. Walking away from it so something new can be reborn between the two of you. Yeah, seven of wands. For some of you, it's going to be somebody new. 
Because when I said two of you, my solar plexus got tight, and that tells me that some of you might have attachment to this particular person and you need to surrender. And that's what the hangman is. The hangman is the surrender. It's about being suspended. Some of you might be really like trying to defend this foundation or fight for it or hold on to it. Like, no, I need to protect it. It's going to be here. The universe is like, yo, just like, let me take care of it. I got you. You have a lot of majors. So with judgment and judgment is Pluto Scorpio, temperance is Sagittarius. The hangman is Neptune Pisces energy. And, um, a lot of these planets are currently retrograde. So there is, and retrograde means to go inward. It is inverted or to review, to go backwards. It's all these things about turning the energy in the opposite direction. So instead of being in your external environment, it's a highlighted time for all of us in the collected, every single person to look at themselves. Um, and the purpose of this is to bring in new beginnings. So the more that you surrender and you really truly turn the focus on you, Libra being the south node, which is the, the placement of healing, the placement of closure, the placement of release and endings. Um, this is going to be a very significant next year and a half for you, but especially at this point in time with all these majors coming up, it's going to, you're going to have a lot of clarity in probably two, three months, um, about who's meant for you, who's really meant for you. The sun in reverse and the page of cups in reverse and the two of wands. Yeah, there's a part of you that just feels emotionally like defeated. Like this is just, how could they? Yeah, because you, you really love them. You, you want to be with them. You really love them. I want to look at you though, how you feel about yourself. Yep, strength in reverse, ten of wands and the hermit. Yeah, there's a fear about really sitting with the self. We're not saying spending time alone. You could spend time alone, watch TV, disassociate all you want and be fine. Truly spending time with yourself, getting to know yourself, building a relationship with yourself, being present in your body. Very different. Um, there's a part of you that might be like, I'm scared to see myself, right? But the sooner you do that and the more committed you are to that, the healthier this love will be when it comes back around. Let's look at them. Yeah, they're making an offer. You're just, you're, yeah, you're like, no, I'm going to make it hard for you. Yeah, you're, you're a little burnt or a lot burnt. Uh, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, your heart space is shut down to them. They're going to come in. They're going to make an offer. They're going to reach out. And with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Queen of Wands, you know you want it. And you know that you're going to have a new beginning with them. You already know it. Yeah, Empress, you know that you're attracting it. Yeah, you know, this. they're here to help you level up. They're here to help you enter into a new cycle as a divine feminine energy. I like the energy you're heading into, but the reality of it is they're here to push your buttons to trigger you to help you get through this upgrade. With the Three of Wands, can you hear a true pair? That's funny. King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Um, and with the three of wands and the four of cups, three of wands tells me that they've been, yeah, they've done a lot of work on themselves. They're doing a lot of healing. They're, they're just doing a lot of work on themselves and a lot of healing. Yep. Ten of pentacles. You have the ace of cups and the two of swords. See, they're offering you this new beginning in love. There's a part of you that's really fearful of what if they manipulate me? What if it doesn't work out? You're a true paragon. They're just as fearful though. They're fearful of making the offer because they don't want to get rejected. It's a two-way street. Yeah, seven of pentacles are like, what if I make this offer and they say no? Yeah, and then you, yeah, no, this is, this is like amazing. King and queen of pentacles is a very, it's my perfect partner pair. It's very stable. You two would build really, really well together. I really like this energy. Let's look at this six of swords. Yeah, the reason things aren't moving forward right now is because both of you are currently at the time of you watching this in the phase of really reflecting on your inner selves. The page of wands in reverse to me is the wounded child. It also speaks to the ways in which we might like fool ourselves, like kind of like gaslight ourselves. No, like I'm super loving and I'm super kind. And then you go and you are acting completely opposite that and like really struggle to regulate your emotional self. There's a part of you that's just like telling yourself some false stories here. Yeah, and it has to do with unworthiness or not being wanted. Um, the scarcity, the fear of not being enough. Yeah, there's going to be a conversation about that. <laughs> Five of Wands. Ooh, you two. You two are, are a duo. That's for damn sure. Yeah, you're quite literally a duo. Gemini, very divine connection. Fives are indicative of the pivot, of the shift, of the change. 
Five of Wands is on a soul level. Five of Pentacles is in the material, physical, and routine day-to-day -day life, right? But it also is about how you perceive scarcity mindset, right? Because the Five of Pentacles is a lack mentality. It is also indicative of leaving somebody out in the cold. So there could have been ghosting that occurred here. And with the Five of Wands, it's that argument or the very passionate expression of how that upset you or them. And there's going to be a discussion about it, a very loving, heartfelt one with a little passion or explosiveness in it, but it's gonna to lead to this new beginning and it's gonna help this sabotaging behavior pass. And then you're gonna really be able to let go of the past. And between the 10 and the seven is a three of swords. So that tells me that there's gonna be a lot of healing between the two of you and your dynamic. So just keep that in mind. Show me what I most need to see for Libra, please. Open door, it's in reverse. And third eye chakra. Visualize the outcome. <clears throat> I feel like there's a need to see one another with fresh eyes, to not shut yourselves off, to be open to different opportunities and for things to play out differently than you expect, and to start to embody and visualize how you want it to look, but also not being rigid and attached to that solely being the way it will show up. Okay, uh, the more we manifest through how something feels or how something lights us up, the more that it's going to manifest in the physical form that it needs to while still matching that energy or that sensation. Libra, I do think that this partnership is going to come back in for you. It's a 10 of cups. There's a lot of love here, but you're rebuilding a foundation that might have been a little faulty or shaky regardless of the length of the commitment, right? But I really like this for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It does help the channel grow. And if you want a personal booking, go ahead and check out my website down below in the description box. And check out Keen if you want a 10 minute reading for $1.99 as well. I have an affiliate link down there and I really appreciate it. So I love you. I wish you the best and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.